Hey guys, welcome back to USMD team. Today I'm going to discuss about fibromyalgia. Uh, this is important topic for USMD examination from step one to step three. So this is very very important topic. Uh, try listening this video and uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Please please and please. Okay, sit back, take a cup of coffee, and now I will discuss the important points. What you need to know. For US medical examination. So let me start with this fibromyalgia. Okay, this is a widespread pain, stiffness, fatigue, disrupted and unrefreshing sleep and a cognitive difficulties. So it's a just like a combination of diseases, but the cause is not known. So when the cause is not known, the treatment part becomes very difficult. So you need to think of a treatment for this patient. So uh, the drugs do play a role but the most important thing is when we don't know the cause how would you treat it right so that's what uh, I'm going to discuss today so this is often accompanied by multiple other unexplained symptoms anxiety or depressions and a functional impairment of activities of daily living that is ADLS it's typically present in young middle aged women this is very important they give the initial examination you need to remember there will be a patient of a female of a 30 35 years old blah 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 presenting with these symptoms okay since this a uh, fibromyalgia is a chronic widespread pain lasting more than three months that's very important i think i forgot to write here it's a more than three months so it's not an acute so it's not an uh, what you call uh, initially uh, presence like a uh, from a day yesterday or from uh, 15 days uh, like that okay so before going to the cause for this this is a multifactorial and includes both environmental and genetic factors um, uh, you need to remember the pain I will discuss I think I will discuss later in this video um, okay this is what exactly the reputation okay the pain the most important thing is the pain the patient presents with the pain three months history of pain uh, they can be a non-cardiac chest pain, dyspepsia, headache, scalp tenderness, abdominal cramping, uh, temporal mandibular pain, chronic pelvic pain, dysmenorrhea. So these are the pain you can present. She can present with. I'm sorry. Uh, there is uh, unrefreshing sleep. They usually get up in the early in the morning. They feel as if they are very tired, fatigued. So around it. 10 to 11 o'clock in the morning they feel uh, normal it means refreshed not exactly the normal but somewhat better than the earlier so I don't know if you guys get up I don't know about the patient uh, for fibromyalgia getting up at uh, 10 a.m. how they feel I think that takes the time for them to get uh, refreshed so forget it that was the fun part so unrefreshing sleep that's very important the fatigue is worse in the morning and the early evening so you need to remember pain fatigue and unrefreshing uh, sleep cognitive symptoms are very important you need to remember like a pain mood and anxiety disorders and the poor sleep so this is what the US family will confuse you with other um, uh, anxiety disorders psychiatric illness okay so if you know very well about the fibromyalgia it helps you to uh, differentiate uh, fibromyalgia from other uh, psychiatric disorders so the other symptoms can include weight fluctuations, allergic symptoms, mm, you, there you can read it, nasal congestion, hypersensitivity to environment stimuli, uh, syncope, dizziness, shortness of breath, urinary frequency and urgency, most common females. Okay, the okay. This was the part we discussed about the symptoms and the signs of uh, uh, fibromyalgia, right? What is a physical examination? What do you see in a physical examination? Do you see anything? I don't think so. So, so the goal of physical examination is to confirm the diagnosis. How? By rule of the concomitant systemic disease. If they, they come with the abdominal pain and you, you, uh, you need to examine the abdomen to rule out other causes of abdominal pain, other causes of chest pain, other causes of uh, knee pain or uh, uh, anything, right? So except for the painful tender points and the perhaps the sign of deep conditioning, physical examination findings are normal in patients with fibromyalgia. Remember, the, the symptoms she presents with, uh, so many symptoms, but on examination, 
she looks normal you don't find anything okay that's the point you need to remember okay laboratory test so when you don't know the cause when there is no cause so what do you expect which is the best uh, test you want to do there's no best test to diagnose right so what we need to do is we need to rule out the other diseases like thyroid diseases hypothyroidism so we need to check tsh levels keep on doing creatinine phosphokinase erythrocyte segmentation rate sedimentation rate ana rheumatoid factor so we need to rule out the other causes for uh, pain and refreshing sleep fatigue okay uh, there is the other testing psychometric testing includes the following minnesota multiphasic personality inventory social support sometimes they can ask you about this one so try to memorize this otherwise it's not so much important okay how do you treat it how do you treat it tell me how do you treat it when you don't know anything how do you treat it i'm not telling you don't know i'm telling you don't know the cause when we don't know the cause what do you want to treat how do you want to treat so it's a two part one is a pharmacotherapy and a psychotherapy the psychotherapy both play a very important role because she has a pain you need to do something right you cannot tell her okay it's okay everything will be fine don't worry nothing to worry she she, she will ask you the tablets for that she has to give drugs for that right? you need to give so for anxiety you need to give for unrefreshing sleep she wants a uh, drugs for that so you have to give it so it's a both the parts so for example about the education lifestyle changes and the proper rehabilitation very important step keep a sleep diary for two weeks before starting any new medication so if you're starting a new medication tell her to keep a new um, sleep diary tca play very important role so it can be used in uh, fibromyalgia steroids and non steroidal insects are useful only as a management for coexisting inflammatory process beta blockers can be used if there is any fluctuation in the uh, bpa okay if there is any fluctuation in the what you call the bp then you can use the um, uh um, sorry i'm uh, sorry beta blockers okay with this uh, and uh, 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 with this i complete my video on uh, fibromyalgia if you have any questions please uh, let me know please do subscribe to my channel uh, if you find any any error any mistakes in my video please let me know so that i can improve i apologize for that thank you so much for watching my video thank you take care and keep repeating keep playing this video again and again i have made mm, playlist on my channel so that if you click once you can uh, revise the subject uh, uh, what do you call it revise the subject once only on one click so keep just listening it will take one hour two hour you can cover most important topics most everything every important topic for your family step to seek and step three uh, later after a few weeks or a month i will post uh, more videos on your uh, step one okay thank you so much for watching the video thank you thank you take care